In this video, we're going to take a look at another example of when we're going to add in a type annotation manually. So this is going to be whenever we declare a variable on one line and then initialize it later. As a quick reminder, type inference only works when we do variable declaration and initialization on the same line. And so obviously, if we split this into two separate steps or two different lines of code, then type inference doesn't work anymore. All right, so I'm going to flip back over to my editor. I'm again at the very bottom of my variables file. And I'm going to set up a second example here. I'm going to say, when we declare a variable on one line and initialize it later. Okay, so for this example, I'm gonna make an array of strings called words, like so. And I'm gonna give this the words red, green, and blue. Then right after that, I'm going to declare a variable called found word, like so. So here's what I wanna do. I want to write a for loop that's going to iterate through this array right here. And if I ever find a word or a string equal to green, then I want to set found word to true. So if you find green inside of words, just set found word to true. That's pretty much it. I know this is a silly example, but I just want to give you a pra very practical example of when we're going to run into this type annotation stuff. So I'm going to write out my for loop. I'm going to say let i equal zero, i less than words.length, i plus plus, and then for every word, we'll say if words at i is equal to green, then we'll set found word equal to true, like so. So now in this case, I have an instance where I'm declaring the variable up here, and then I only assign it a value or initialize it down here inside of my for, for loop. If I now mouse over found word, it will very clearly tell me that this is of type any. And in fact, I even have a little underline here that is a warning that tells me that found word has an implicit any type. And then the tip here says that I might get a better type if I actually use the variable. Now, when it says inferred from usage, that actually means that like I have to add in the annotation right here or optionally initialize it on the same line. So in this case, to make this warning go away, we have to add in a type annotation. So I can tell TypeScript, all right, this is gonna be a Boolean. And now we get around that issue. So whenever type inference doesn't work because we are doing declaration and initialization on separate lines, we're going to add in the type annotation. That's pretty much it. Now, as a quick aside here, obviously the best way to write out this code would have been to do something like this, to initialize found word as false. And now TypeScript understands what's going on here. This is way better code than what we had before. But again, I just wanted to give you a quick example of where we might have a declaration on one line and then initialization at some future point. All right, so let's take a quick pause right here. When we come back in the next video, we're going to take a look at our final example of when we are going to prefer to use a type annotation. So quick pause and I'll see you in just a minute.